Hey everybody, I am back here with another video. I know it's been a minute since I've put up a video and I actually will put up like a channel update video here soon. Um, I'm not planning on doing as many videos as I was before and I'm not buying as much wax anymore so because I'm trying to really use what I have but I'll put up a separate video. But this is a two-timing tart haul uh, from uh, Becky Anderson's company and this is not from her most recent restock. I actually have had this wax sitting around I think for actually a week or a couple weeks I just haven't gotten around to filming it. And I did actually get another two-timing tart haul that I filmed about a month ago, but I never put up. So I'm gonna try to like merge that clip with this and try to get it into like one big massive two-timing tart haul. But anyway, so I'm gonna start off with this and I wanna show you um, the samples that I got from Becky and I got lots of bags of brittles as I'm sure you can see in the camera. So this first one I got is Gardenia and I'm really excited about this. I love Gardenia scents. And that one is really nice. It's very floral, kind of sweet, not candy sweet, but just floral and just real, real strong and thick. That's just what that one is. This next one here is 42. This is one of Becky's like um, standard scents that she normally carries, but I don't remember what's in there. It smells very clean, uh, clean, a little green, not like laundry clean, but clean and floral, slightly floral. So I don't remember what's in there, but that one is like a really, really pretty one. This next one here is Honeysuckle, and Honeysuckle is another one of my like favorite um, floral scents. I love it. Just absolutely wonderful. I just really like this one. It's kind of like Gardenia. It's a really strong, flowing type of scent. And then this last one here I've never seen before, uh, Poison Crocus, and I think Crocus is a flower, if I remember correctly. It smells kind of like a sandalwood-ish, um, sexier, a little bit more exotic kind of flower, you know, um, I'm not exactly sure, but that's what that one reminds me of. It's a really nice scent. I do uh, really like that one. So that was that other sample. Okay, so that's the samples. Let me just get into these bags of brittles one at a time. So the thing with um, Becky's stuff, I, I still absolutely love her stuff for the bedroom. She does really good scents, especially with like pink sugar, um, like mojito type scents or scents with sandalwood, blue sugar. She's She excels at those, really, really good. And uh, she's a one-woman show. She works a full-time job. So two-timing tart is like a part-time thing that she does. So when she pours scents, um, or she pours wax and scents that I really love, I jump on it no matter how much two-timing tart I have because I know that if a specific scent comes up, it may not come up again for another four or five months. Cause it's just the way, you know, she just kind of, she'll pour chunks sometimes and then, you know what I, you know what I mean? It's sometimes she'll take requests, but it's just, it's worth it for me just to jump in and get the stuff that I really want. And there's a lot of scents in here that I really loved and a couple of new ones that I wanted to try. So that's kind of what happened here. So these are all bags of brittles here and they were $8.25 a piece. I haven't weighed them, but they're pretty hefty. So I think that there's, um, she says that they're eight ounces, but there may be more in there than eight ounces. This is like, you know, the smaller bakery bag, but they're pretty packed in there. So this first one here is Jasmine Vanilla Green Tea Peach. And uh, that's what the Brito looks like there. And this one is, you know, exactly what is on there. She says it's floral tea and slightly fruity. And it is, this one is kind of hard to describe. I'm not exactly sure what I'm picking up most. And maybe the green tea. It is nice. This is something that would kind of be nice, I think, in the kitchen as a change from like bakery scents. It's just kind of relaxing and refreshing, I think is the right way to say that one. I like that one. I don't love it, but um, I don't think I've ever had a, a wax scent with green tea. I think I've seen like maybe white tea or just tea. But anyways, I do really like that one. It's not my all-time favorite, but it is a nice one. Okay, this next one here is May West Diamonds, and this one is a musk and caraway. You know what the funny thing is, is I don't even know what caraway is. Um, I probably should have looked that up before. But this one is part of her regular kind of two-timing tart line. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, there's a micro shimmer on this side. Sorry, I showed the other side in the camera, but you can see it there. I don't really know what this is. You know, my nose has been kind of off and weird lately, so I've been having a hard time smelling things. One Another one of the reasons why I'm not melting as much wax anymore, but... I don't know how to describe this one. It almost smells a little fruity. It's kind of, I know it's a May West, but it almost smells like masculine and, and slightly fruity, but very sexy. That's kind of what that one reminds me of. I do like that one. Okay, this next one is one of my favorites from Becky, Still Not Ginger. And this one is uh, ginger ale, pink sugar, and orange peel. And you can kind of see that this bag here is pretty stuffed and you got like different kinds of glitter on here. 
I love this one. I love the effervescence of it. It's not super effervescent, but you can get like a slight bubbly kind of sense out of it. I like the pink sugar with the orange scent. I think that's always a good scent combination. This one is just nice. It's like frizzy, it's fizzy, girly, and fun. And so that is, is one of my favorites from her, Still Not Ginger. So I'm glad I was able to stock back up on that. This next one here is a Vanilla Cream Peaches. And this is pretty much exactly what the um, name of the <laughs> name of the wax says that it is with lots of micro shimmer on it. This one is really good. It's a really, really, really sweet kind of more candy peach scent um, along with the vanilla. But the vanilla, I think, is the strongest note here. So when you first smell it, you definitely get like that very, very sweet kind of scent. So that one is nice. That would be good for the kitchen. Okay, this next one here is Walk of Shame. And this one is Bite Me, which is cherry and lime. And also with a sea salt lotus. And there's a small little piece there. This one is also in her regular Two Time and Tart line. This one is just really good. The Bite Me, the cherry, and the lime is really present. It's the first thing that you notice. It's a really good cherry scent. Like, I do like the cherry and Bite Me. Um, there are some cherries that I absolutely cannot stand, but this one is just really good. It's fruity. It's refreshing once again. It's summery. And the Bite Me is definitely stronger than the Sea Salt Lotus, but you can still get that, like, slightly, I think, you know, like, floral feminine scent coming out of there. But that's, it's a second tier scent to the, the fruity scents of the Bite Me, if that makes any sense there. Okay, this next one here is Absinthe Sandalwood, and this one is, she calls it a deep herbal incense blend, wormwood, anise, lemon balm, and sandalwood is what she has in here, and I love sandalwood, so... Oh, I love this one. It does. It's very sandalwood heavy. It's just really nice. It is deep herbal and incense-y, but in a really good way. You can get the lemon balm. Because of the lemon, this almost sounds, this smells like if you have like a, a study, you know, and you take like that lemon pledge and you go into there and you kind of clean up the wood. That's kind of what this smells like, but it's a little bit deeper and more mysterious than that slightly, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. That is a really, really nice one. Okay, this next one here is Drunk Texting, and this one is a Cucumber Mojito, and I believe everything in her Drunk line, as I call it, is all, um, all has, like, kind of a mojito kind of scent. Oh, this one is just really nice. It's very clean. You can smell the cucumber. It smells like a cucumber. And, you know, I don't really exactly know the mojito scent and what that really smells like. But you can smell that there's something else in here besides cucumber. So this does not come across as a straight cucumber scent. But it is really nice. It is clean. This one actually I may put on like in the kitchen today. Because it's just kind of like a refreshing cleansing kind of scent. I do like that one a lot. This next one here, continuing on with the drunk line. This is drunk status updates. So this one is a pomegranate lavender martini. Oh, sorry. So they're not all mojitos. Some of the drunk ones are martinis. But yeah, I think... It's I think, yeah, some are martinis and some are mojitos. So there we go. That's what looks like purple brittle. And a little bit of shimmer on that side. This one is really nice. You can get the lavender in here. It smells sweet. It smells like a sweet lavender mixed with that, like, very fruity pomegranate scent. Once again, I'm not exactly sure what the martini is bringing to the party. It's not like I go around sniffing martinis, which are made out of what, like gin or something? I don't really know what that smells like. It doesn't have like a very strong like alcohol smell or anything like that. It just smells really, really nice. Okay, this next one here is one of my favorites from her. Peacock plumes. And this one is yuzu and bamboo, teakwood and lemon. And this is, if I remember correctly, just like a very nice, like very strong masculine sexy scent. Yeah, this one definitely has that, like, wood. Oh, there's some glitter on that one there. This one definitely has that, like, heavy wood, masculine kind of, like, cologne -y sort of scent. I do really love this one. One of my favorites here from Two Tommy Tart. This next one here is Pornography, and this one is Cupcake and Dragon's Blood. I know I've seen Dragon's Blood as a fragrance oil that a couple places sell, but I don't exactly know what is in Dragon's Blood. The cupcake in here is real, real strong. I mean, I think the whole thing about this one is supposed to be like, you know, decadent, you know, like pornography. So, you know, like food, sugary food and all that kind of stuff. Just a really, really nice cupcake scent. It's just, it smells authentic and realistic. I'm not exactly sure what the dragon's blood is doing in there, but that one is a kitchen one for sure. So I got to keep that one downstairs. Okay, this next one here is another one in the drunk line. This is drunk tweeting and it is coconut and mango. 
mojitos. Let me grab a chunk here. And look at all the micro shimmer. Becky does a lot of like her stuff with the micro shimmer on it. I like this one. I you know I'm not a huge fan of coconut scents, but Becky's coconut, it seems to be a little bit more, I don't know what's the word, like lush smelling or something than just like a straight up nasty coconut smell, at least to me. If it I can't stand the coconut smells that smell like suntan lotion. You know, there's a lot of coconut smells that do that smell like that. This, these are always a little bit different. And I like this one because it's tropical. It's also subtle though. It's not too in your face. And you can get that sweet fruit scent of the mango in there, but I think the coconut is what you smell first. So I really like that one. Okay, this next one here is satin sheets. And this one is black coconut and Arabian sandalwood. And um, you can kind of see how much is in there. These bags are all pretty full. Lots of micro shimmer on these. If you guys can kind of pick that up in the camera. I really like this one too. It's an, it's a nice coconut scent. It does smell tropical. It does smell authentic, but it's not too crazy weird. And I love the sandalwood in here. Just very dry, woodsy kind of scent. So I do love that one. Okay, four more bags over here. This next one here is Drunk Photography. And this is a three olive gin martini with a twist of yuzu. I think yuzu is like a citrus fruit, if I remember correctly from my Google, my Googling a while ago. I love this one. I love this one. Now this one smells the most martini-ish to me. Uh, maybe because it also smells like the olive. I, I mean, maybe I am smelling olive in here. And I love the yuzu in here. It's citrusy. It kind of smells like... um kind of like kumquat. It doesn't necessarily smell like orange, but you can tell that it's citrusy, but it's not a citrusy lemon and it's not a citrusy orange. So that one is a really, really nice one. Okay. The next one here is eloquence. And this one here is cashmere musk with peach and honeyed amber. And if I remember correctly, I really do love this one as well. Oh, this one is really, really nice. I'm more also normally not a fan of honey because it comes across as like so thick and everything, but this one is a nice honey. And I like the amber in here. Um, like I think it's just kind of cologne masculine. Just really nice. The one thing that I don't always smell in there is the peach. But I just love that one. That's a, such a good one. This next one here is teas. And this one is vanilla tea and Moroccan mint. So let me go grab a piece here. Oh, these are all. Grabbing all these smaller pieces. There's one there with all this micro shimmer on it. Really, really good. Actually, I may put this one on right now. This one just has such a nice, fresh minty scent. Along with the tea, it says vanilla tea, and I, it's not as an herbaly tea scent. That is that one that I had before that said green tea. So it is a little bit more what you imagine tea might smell like, but not what it actually smells like. You know what I mean? I think sometimes in our heads, we get caught up on what we think things smell like, but not what they actually do. And that's kind of what this smells like. This smells like what I would think vanilla tea would smell like, along with the Moroccan mint. And I do love Moroccan mint tea. It's actually one of my all-time favorite teas. And that does, since it's heavy on the mint, that definitely does smell like that. And this next one here, the last one here is Silk Sheets. This one is Musk, Vanilla, and Cherry Blossoms. And once again, you got a pretty nice packed bag in here. More a micro shimmer here. Thank you, Becky. Really nice. This one is slightly powdery. It's a, it's feminine, powdery, fresh. This one would also be kind of nice to put on. It almost smells like a very, 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 very pretty laundry detergent. It's not laundry, but I could see this like in a laundry scent. It's just like feminine and powdery and soft and beautiful kind of scent. So that one there is silk sheets. But I do think I'm going to put teas on right now in my kitchen with the Moroccan mint. But anyways, you guys, so that is it. That is the whole kit and caboodle here from Two Timing Tart. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut in the clip of the other Two Timing Tart haul that I did, and then I'll come back at the end. So the first thing I got, I got two bags of these plum wine sandalwood. And I think, I don't know if I got this from her before or a scent very similar to this, but... Oh, that smells so good. That is just like deep and dark like plum scents are always kind of just like deep and dark and sexy along with that like base note of the sandalwood kind of rounding it out this one is an excellent scent to melt in the bedroom i absolutely love this one and i really like the size of these br brittle bags too that's just like a good size for brittle you can probably get like what three melts out of there two or three you know i melt through it in a week and then i've got an empty bag so 
I really do like that one. Oh, there's two samples here. I totally missed them. I'm sorry. I didn't miss them. I just forgot to show them on camera. The first one here is 42. Definitely clean green and a little bit of floral. I do I do have a scent description for 42 somewhere, um, I think. I think that's in her regular line. That one smells really awesome. This next one I've never heard of before. Copal or something like that. Definitely woodsy. As soon as I open this up, I could just smell like a sexy woodsy scent. Very, very strong and authentic. So that one I, I like. I like scents like that quite a lot. Okay, the next two bags that I got here are in pink sugar carnation and I like I said before I love her pink sugar blend she's excellent with them so she did write a scent description for this it's slightly spicy floral twined with the sugary perfume of pink sugar I think the pink sugar in here is definitely a little bit stronger but I am getting like a spicy note out of here or something so I didn't I never thought of carnation being spicy but it's definitely interesting I do like that one. That is a really good one. It's like pink sugar, but with a little bit of an edge for sure in that one. So those are two just perfectly sized bags of brittle. Just got to love them. Now the next one here, I don't have a scent description for, um, but I think this one is fairly self-explanatory. Cherry blossom and green tea. I also love the tea scents that Becky does. She does a really good job at those too. Oh, that's beautiful. That's like just a very, like a solid base of the tea like topped off with the floral, but that cherry blossom scent, it's not like overly floral, if that makes any sense. It's like a beautiful, subtle floral mixed in with that very, like not subtle, but that very delicate scent of the tea. Those go together really, really well. Okay, the next one here is um, Bonkers But Brilliant, and I don't think I've got the scent description for this, and I don't remember if this is in like her regular line or not, so. You're going to be stuck with my um, with my nose on here. But I also love like all of the shimmer she puts on these too. It's really, really nice. I'm definitely getting apple. Oh, yeah, this one did have apple in it. Oh, that's a really nice fresh apple scent. I don't know what else is in here besides the apple. It's kind of like it just smells. I would probably melt this in the kitchen, I think. I, I, I do want to look up the scent description and see what else is in that one. But yeah, nice apple scent going in that one for sure. Now this next one is the one that actually caused me to place the order and it's called Sir Dorian. So the story on this one is the last time I ordered from her, I got a single like scallop sample in Sir Dorian. I had never heard of it before. I threw it in my, I threw that one little tiny scallop in my, um, in my bathroom and oh my God, I love the scent. It threw well. I was just in heaven. So when I saw that she had these in the large flower tart, I was like, I'm going for it. For it, I almost ordered more than four. I think I left a couple. I didn't completely buy all of her stock out. But yeah, this is amazing. So I didn't know what it was when I when I melted it. But now I have a scent description. Dark, deep cedar with spices and a touch of musky floral. So knowing that that's what it is, it's, it sounds right up my alley. I mean, that's just my kind of scent. Oh, it's just beautiful. It is woodsy, authentic, and beautiful. Masculine too. Oh my goodness. I love this one. I think this is a um, dupe of something on the sample she got. She did write that it was a type on there, but I don't remember. Somebody somebody told me on a comment um, what it was. I just have to go look up that comment again, but I love that scent. So amazing. Now the next one here is, um, I don't know if it's Jillian Snickers or Gillian Snickers. This is a sexy, playful look. Um, <laughs> this is her set description. A sexy, playful look at sex as self-punishment and self-loathing. Frothy and sweet pink sugar mixed with vanilla orchid, sugar cane, coconut milk, and soft musk. Oh, this is just really good. That pink sugar just like hits you like right in the face, like right initially. I think, I don't think I'm smelling a whole much else in here other than the pink sugar right off the bat. So I'm going to definitely have to melt this one and see what else comes out. I definitely want to see what that coconut milk and the musk in here smells like, but it's a beautiful scent. Pink sugar dominant um, right now on cold, and there's that one there, and I love the shape of those tarts too. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed both of these two timing tart hauls, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye.